Amanda, what's your opinion on the front cover of Buy Music magazine? I think it really worked. I won't do that again. We do whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really like the font, different kind of fonts, and how they're punchy. <laughs> and. And. I'm loving the girl model in uh, on the front cover. I think she's looking great. <laughs> I kind of like the whole overall dancey kind of vibe it brings. So you think it has a dance vibe then? Yeah, it's a you great dance vibe. You don't think on. it looks too much like a pop magazine? No, no. Do you think if you saw this on the shelf, you'd buy it yourself? Yeah, I you totally would. would. What do you think to the? Contents page. Um, <laughs> I really like the layout. It's really good. Um, it's very clear, and you can see what's going on. Is there anything you'd change about it, or do you like it how it is? Hmm. I think it's great. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Do you like the double page spread? Yes, there's a lot of information which is good and I'm liking the little circle in the middle, <laughs> kind of makes it, I don't know, better <laughs> somehow. Do you think um, that the use of the pinks and the yellows the whole way through the magazine works or would you rather change it to something else? No, I think you should keep it like that because then it has like a good flow and it will it's close. <laughs> yeah. Close. Um, overall, is there anything that you would change to the magazine? Do you think the name works? Do you think name's good? Name's good. Do you think all like the contents are okay, or do you think yeah. that there should be something else? Or? Interesting information going on there. And if you were to like take over, essentially the magazine. Would you do anything differently or would you do it all exactly the same? I would keep it the same as it's a very professional layout and it looks like a real magazine. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> so the overall look is very professional, um, very clean. My only concern is the contrast between the white and the uh, white text and the yellow background in some areas where uh, it's, it can be difficult to, to read it, particularly when the text is small. Now, obviously you're not the target audience for this magazine, <laughs> but do you think that somebody that would be in the target audience would pick up this and read it? I have no idea <laughs> at all. So just do you think it, do you just think it looks professional then and that it's of a good enough standard? Yes, I think the, particularly the uh, the front page is uh, it's clean and it uh, um, describes exactly what uh, it meant to me. One question to you: Is two pounds ninety um, a price that is on the average? Is it in the mean? Well, is it high? Is it low? Well. The other magazines that I looked at for this genre of music were all around the four or five pound mark, so I wanted to make something that would be cheaper. So why do you think you could produce it for cheaper if that's what their prices is? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Probably just because they're a less well-known magazine and... Well, that would surely that make... I don't know. But I just wanted it to be able to compete with. Yes, but you need to you need to you need to understand your production costs to ensure that two ninety would be adequate to cover your costs and make a profit. Okay, I'll consider that in my next draft. Okay. Thank you. Right. <laughs>